this is the family main entrance to the Galloway house, and this leads into the front room. Um, we have here um, set up a toy area because children would have come in here and played in here. Um, Edwin P. would have come home from school through here. Uh, so this would have been like the busy hub center of um, when the family was uh, coming home, um, coming in uh, after dinner. Uh, this is where the family would spend its time. No television sets, so there are other things that we have to do when, um, when you're uh, done with work and school. So here's a desk that we have. Let's say Papa would um, work on something or Mama would write a letter. And this room, um, after a dinner party, would be where a gentleman would come. And here we've got it set up away from the children's hands is uh, the brandy for the men. Um, we also have a piece here. This is a center of a three-piece table set. This is a leaf and it comes up and we have an, uh, an end here. There's another leaf and another end and we'll show you the ends. We've got them all in the same room um, because then uh, we could move some furniture around and, and make um, a really large table. Uh, so, no TV? Well, maybe we'll play some music. So, uh, this is a Victrola, and uh, this is um, records uh, going on here, and we'll play some um, music. Uh, the other thing, uh, no video games. So here playing cards after dinner, uh, maybe having a little refreshment while playing cards. Um, it was very common in the Victorian era to have more than one seating area in the same room uh, because families were large. Um, so you might have um, after dinner, neighbors might come by and drop by and you're playing cards together. That was a, a normal nightly thing. Um, Mama might be coming here and working on some sewing uh, and, and chat with ladies. Uh, so um, there, there's, it's very common uh, to have um, lots of people be able to be in different seating areas. So here we have one of the ends. And this would connect to that leaf. Um, and here is a treasure that we found. And here we'll show you, this is a Valentine's card. Now this was to Mildred and it's from Jenny Galloway. And where did we find this? in the break front, hanging off to the side where no one else has seen it for years. So this piece is called the break front. And this is where it sat here in this room when the Galloways were living here. Uh, so um, doesn't move, <laughs> very big heavy piece, um, and actually it's two pieces, but um, as you can see, very ornate and uh, beautiful. And then we come over and this leads then into the entrance hall um, with the formal door and the etched glass um, windows. Here's the other end of that three-piece table. So it's two rounded ends and that center. And again, someone could be sitting here, possibly reading a book. Um, and then we come and here is the fireplace, keeping the uh, room warm and cozy. Um, we have, now when you have brandy, the gentleman might have cigars um, and Wooden matches, put the cigar, the ashtray, 
We do not have any live matches because in a historic home, you do not have any open flames of any kind um, or any way that you take things out that might cause fire. And uh, here, when the fireplace, you have an, uh, lots of ashes, we have the ash bin. And this probably would have been Edwin P's job uh, to do that or, or one of the generation before him. And this is awesome because here's a second handle for when you do go and empty out the ashes. And then we have other pictures of the family. We have gone over in uh, previous videos about Edwin P. donating, um, Clarissa Galloway, uh, Edwin P.'s wife Genevieve, his mother Carrie, um, and here is a picture of the family at what they call the summer house, or what we call it, or refer to as the gazebo, and here we'll end our journey through the front room.